Hi guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to extend emboss caps and this concept can be applied to many mods here you see it's used on my inverse emboss and here on my extended emboss so you can use this to make many different pens for pen spinning and it's just a useful method so let's get started with what you'll need uh, pen wise you'll need just a couple parts uh, two emboss barrels first you'll also need a comza barrel and some random rings of grip here I just have some profile grips uh, profile grips work I use them here but so do like sailor grips, pen wish rings, signal grips, pretty much anything that will fit on top of a comms barrel will work. So yeah, that's what you'll need as far as pens. You'll also need some other things just to assemble the mod. First you'll need a file or some sandpaper. You'll need some pliers some drill bits, some tape, and a saw. So yeah, that's all you're going to need for this. And obviously, if you're making a mod, you'll need some big emboss caps. But I'm not going to be making a mod, I'm just going to be extending it. So I don't need those right now. But yeah, so I'll be right back and I'll show you guys how to actually make it. Alright, so now for the tutorial. So to get started, you're just going to need your emboss uh, barrel. You saw earlier, this emboss barrel is already cut. Uh, that doesn't matter, because I'm just going to be using it to extend um, the caps. So one of them can be pretty much garbage, uh, just like a spare part. But this one is going to have to be... This is going to be the barrel for your mod, so it has to be clean and stuff. So, on this one, I cleaned the barrel. Obviously, that's optional, but you can clean it. I'm not going to do that now, because I don't see it is necessary. So, to start, you're going to take your pliers and take off the back plug of the emboss. On a white emboss, it will be black. On a colored emboss, it will be the side that is colored, not the black side, if that makes any sense. But yeah, so this part you won't be needing, so you can put it to the side. And then next, we're going to be removing this tip of the emboss. So you'll need your saw, and you're going to just saw off this tip. So I'm going to fast forward this. So I've sanded off the tip, or I've sawed off the tip. Uh, now it's just the embossed barrel. And at this point, you can sand down the side you just uh, cut off. Just to make it level, you won't need to sand it down much, because you're going to also sand it later. But just get it level. Um, and yeah. So this part you also won't be needing anymore. And next, you're going to need your comms of the body. And I'm not going to be using this one. I'm just going to be using two halves of a comms of body to save on materials. But yeah, so just imagine that this is the two halves of the comms of. So, you're going to take from the big side of the comms of this is where the back plug came out of. You're going to take uh, about like two or three inches um, because this is going to go into the big side of the emboss. And the length of this depends on what kind of mod you're making. Like for this, I only extended it a little bit, but if you're going to extend it a lot, you're going to need more comms of barrel, obviously. 
So just, you can adjust the length of this comms of barrel later, but for now, this seems like a good length for me, about two inches, as I said. And then for the front, you're going to cut from the front of the comms up, the part with the ink coming out with the tip. So first, you're going to cut off the actual tip part here uh, with your saw. So just cut off this tip. Like that. And you won't be needing the tip, so you can set that aside. And then from this side, you're going to cut it to the same length as the other side. As the side with the that's going into the big side of the emboss because if they're not equal sizes the mod will be unbalanced uh, slightly so just cut this down to the side size of the other um, comms of barrel see that these are pretty close to equal sizes and you can always just adjust the size by sanding off uh, a little bit of one of them so that they're perfectly equal in length like that and just to note you don't want to cut anything from the side the back plug came out of like this side, you don't want to sand off any from this end. You can sand from this end, but not the side the back plug went in. So you want to leave this uh, completely untouched at the side the back plug came out of. Because otherwise it won't fit in the emboss correctly. So yeah, now you have your two uh, Kamsa barrel parts for the extension of the emboss barrel but you might notice that the small side does not fit into the small side of the emboss so you're going to have to drill out the emboss until the comms of barrel will fit in so just like that go around the emboss until your comms of barrel is snug inside the embossed barrel. So this takes a while, so I'm going to cut and I'll be right back when it fits in snugly. Alright, so I've sanded down my emboss so that both uh, comms of barrel pieces fit inside the embossed barrel snugly. And now you're going to make some marks on the comms of barrels to show how far in you want to push them into the emboss. Because if you push them in different lengths like that, one side's obviously going to be weighted differently from the other, and you don't want that. So the way you're going to measure this is you take the big side of the, the big uh, comms of barrel side with the back plug, and put it into the big side of the emboss. And when you're pushing it in, you'll notice that at one point it just kind of like moves in quickly after it moves in slowly. It just gets tighter. You'll know when you're doing it. So you're just going to put it in until you feel that it's stable, like right there is good. And then you just mark it all the way around with a pencil just to see the depth. So now that I've marked that, I can take it out, and then you're going to measure it with the part, the small side of the Kamsa. So just line them up like that, and then mark with a pencil at the same place. So now, when you push them in, you can push them into the same depth, 
and your mod will be weighted perfectly. Alright, so done with that part. Next, we're just going to be making the actual extensions to the mod. So at this point, you can put on your two of your profile grips, or whatever grip you're using. So you can push those down all the way to the barrel on either side, like that. And then you go to the next step. And the next step is taking pieces from your other embossed barrel and putting them onto this Kamsa barrel. So for this, you're going to need to know which side is the big side and which is the small. So I forgot. So this side is the big side and you're going to want to be taking from the big side of the emboss for the big side so that the barrel doesn't go out and then decrease in diameter and then increase again for the cap. You want it to be like I have here, you want it to be smooth through the whole uh, barrel. So you take a piece of whatever length you want. For this I used about like three-fourths of a centimeter or so. And you're just going to cut it off from your embossed body. So I'll be right back after I've cut off part of this barrel. Alright, so now I have a piece about one centimeter in length, and this is from the big side, so it will go onto the big side. You just gotta remember that. So just sand it down so that it's level and it's the length that you want it to be. Uh, this would be a bit long for me, so I'm gonna sand it down a bit more. So I've sanded it down so that it's pretty level. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, it should be perfect, but if it's not, that's okay. Because you put the profile grips on there earlier. And that will kind of even out both sides uh, when you put it on the actual mod. So, as you see there, you can just put it right on to the big side. Um, I, in just my preference, I would take the ink off of this. Uh, for this, I just use the paper method on these parts of the barrel because you won't really notice if it's a little bit scuffed up because it's such a small area. But yeah, once you sand it off your piece for the big side, you can just put it on. And then to finish off this side, just put on your last profile ring. So, just like that. And that's the easy side of the extension. The smaller side is a little bit more uh, annoying. So, for this side, just like you did for this, you're going to cut off a piece from the small side of the emboss. So I'll be right back after I have cut a small piece off of this side. Alright, I cut off a piece from this side, and now you want to sand it down to be pretty close to the exact same length as the other side, uh, the other extension piece. So I'll be right back once I've sanded this down to the correct length. I've sanded these down and they're about the same length. Uh, obviously in a mod you'd want these to be exactly the same, but since this is just for tutorial purposes, uh, this is fine for me. So if you try to put this on, you'll notice that it won't fit over the Kamsa body. So like you did for this side of the embossed body, you're going to get out your drill bits again. and drill this out. 
which is really annoying, but uh, you have to do it so it'll fit. So I'll be right back after I have uh, drilled out a little bit of this uh, body piece. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I've sanded down this part of the body. Now it will fit onto the comps barrel easily. This part, it doesn't matter so much if it's snug uh, because it's just going to be sitting there anyway. It's not really providing any structural purpose. So at this point, you can put on your final profile ring and then you're done with the barrel of whatever mod you are making. So yeah, you have now extended your embossed barrel, and obviously you would just put on uh, your embossed caps over this using the tape. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it pretty much, and I'll be right back just to wrap up the tutorial after clearing up all of this stuff. So I'll be right back. Alright, so at this point you have made the extended barrel for your emboss, and this is good, but for a mod you're going to also need some caps, and the caps will not just fit over these comms of barrels, so just use a little bit of tape and wrap it around here until your caps will fit on snugly, like so. And I'm just using a small embossed cap for demonstration purposes. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the tutorial. Um, just to explain something though, since everybody's been asking for a tutorial on the inverse emboss, all you need to do, changing it from this simple barrel piece to the inverse emboss, is you just need to drill out the cap, drill out the emboss cap with your drill bits, take out all that stuff that's in there, and then put the tip in inverted into the emboss cap with the tip pointing in of out. Alright, so that's going to be the tutorial guys. Uh, if you thought that it was helpful, please leave a like. And as always, leave suggestions for other tutorials and stuff in the comment section down there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.